Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Well guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to deal with general training reading section 2. Alright, so all the tips which I'm going to give you, they will help you with section 2, especially when there are questions 22 to 27 and the question type is complete the sentences below with no more than two words. I'm going to tell you in this video how to read the question how to find the clue word to scan in the passage and then how to scan that clue word in the passage to find your answer. Okay, so this video will not waste your time. This video is going to be worth watching. Okay, so let's take a start. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell icon as well. So guys, let's take a start and we solve the test with this magic pencil. Okay guys, complete the sentences below, choose no more than two words and now this time they say and, and means plus and or means or a number. So it means they can be a number, two words plus a number, only a number or one word or a number or just like that. Now, over here the questions and passage they are going to be in same order. 22, pay increases depend on pay increase, pay raise, depend on the dash that each member of staff makes. That means something each member of staff makes. So pay increase depends on that thing. Now we need to see what is it that the pay increase depend on and that thing is made by each staff member. So GLP retail staff benefits, whatever your role, your pay range will be extremely competitive and reviewed. Reviewed means increment. In the light of your progress. Wow. Now try to understand. Whatever your role, your pay range will be extremely competitive and reviewed. Pay, reviewed means pay raise. In the light of your progress. Your actually means pay increases depend on the dash that each member for each member they are using the word your of staff makes so reviewed in the light of your progress in the light of and each staff member makes so the answer is going to be progress depends on the and by the way let me tell you sometimes you guys just ignore it huh you don't read it. Sometimes there can be the answer there, right? Now, let's go on. Employees must work a minimum of, now it can be the number, dash to be eligible for a pension. A minimum of, maybe it can be the years, right, to be eligible for pension. Let's see. Now, we need to look for the word pension and then the number of years. Yeah, pension scheme here. Okay, let's see what do they say here. We offer a non-contributory final salary pension scheme payable from the age of 60 to most staff who have completed the qualifying period of 5 years. Qualifying period of 5 years. So qualifying period for what? Qualifying period for pension, final salary pension scheme payable from the age of 60 to most staff who have completed the qualifying period of 5 years. So, employees must work a minimum of five years to be eligible for a pension. Now, you can write, they have written like this, five years. So, because they say actually no more than a word and a number, so you can write like this as well, five years. But I will recommend this one because this is how they have written it exactly. Okay? Good, let's go on. Staff may take a holiday at one of the dash. Now, staff may take a holiday at one of the dash provided by the company. Now, one of the what? One of the. Usually, after one of the, we have plural noun. Right? So, we got to see one of the what. Staff may take a holiday at one of the dash provided by the company. Okay, let's see holiday, 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 yeah, holiday and leisure. So, 
No need to go for life assurance, discounts, and subsidized dining room, holiday and leisure facilities. And the question must be clear. Staff may take a holiday at means you can spend your time there at one of the dash provided by the company. So the business owns a number of residential clubs which offer subsidized holiday accommodation for staff. Wow. With at least three years service, the business owns a number of residential clubs, residential clubs, which, which means these clubs, residential clubs offer subsidized holiday accommodation for staff. So these residential clubs are offered to the staffs with at least three years of experience. So what's the question? Staff may take a holiday at one of the residential clubs provided by the company. So the answer is residential clubs. I write it here. residential clubs and don't forget to write it in plural form yeah residential clubs so they've written plural you will write plural residential clubs clear okay question number 25 the company pay half the seat price all right for for what the company pay half half means 50 percent seat price for da for dash and place so something that comes with place. Now let's scan the word place at 50%, half of the price, something like that, okay? Sports clubs, uh, we support, uh-uh, uh-uh, 50%. Let's see, ticket subsidi subsidies. What are the subsidies? Ticket, ticket subsidies of 50% of the cost of place. All right, now what is what else is there? Ticket subsidies of 50% of the cost of plays or concerts are available. What's the question? The question, the company pay half of the seat price for dash and plays. Okay, so ticket subsidies of 50% of the cost of plays or concerts are, uh, are available. Now, instead of or, over there they have used the word and. They also do that. They replace or with and and with or. So plays or concerts or plays and concerts are available. So the company pay half of the seat price for concert. Play is already written. So the answer is concert. My handwriting is big because of the video. That's why I'm writing here. All right. 26. The company gives financial assistance for both. One thing is education courses. And the second thing is your answer. So you need to scan educational courses or they mention some courses. The company gives financial assistance for both educational courses and DASH as part of staff development. Okay. Yeah, educational, education subsidies. We give generous financial support to staff who wish to acquire leisure skills or continue the, their education. Okay, leisure skills and continue their education through the open university or evening classes. So, they say the company gives financial assistance for both educational courses and, yeah, 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 simple. Two things, leisure skills, again, or continue their education, that is educational courses. Right, so leisure skills is the other thing, or. And again, what have they done? And, yeah, educational courses and leisure skills. Leisure skills like cricket and all that. So, let's write this answer here. Leisure skills. Okay, let's read on. 27. Employees may be entitled to a dash. Right. Employees may be entitled to a dash if, what is the condition? They find themselves in difficult circumstances. All right. So if they are in difficult circumstances, they can be given something. What is it? That's what we got to find. Extended leave? No. Health service? Health service staffed by full? Yeah. Let's read the question again. Employees may be entitled to a dash if they find themselves in difficult circumstances. There's no mention of difficult circumstances. Financial help benefits and all that. In cases of... Ah, hardship. 
yes in cases of particular hardship we will help staff with a loan good employees may be entitled to a dash if they find themselves in difficult circumstances in cases of particular hardships that is difficult circumstances will help staff with a loan so employees may be entitled to a loan if they find themselves in difficult circumstances wow that's amazing guys so far so good all the best welcome back how are you feeling good huh okay you must feel that i will eat ielts raw gop chu gop chu gop chu like that okay i mean as you're solving the test you just look at this like oh you're gonna eat it and you're gonna chew it all that's all guys so these are just the tips and believe me i give you all the tips wholeheartedly and whenever i talk to you i talk to you wholeheartedly thank you if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to comment do let me know how you feel about ielts reading after watching my videos i teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub truly wishes you all the best with your ielts exam take good care of yourselves allah hafiz